name is William Sanders, and this will be my third season in fire and first year on a hotshot crew. I am on the third saw, so you know if they need a third saw, they pull us in. But other than that, I'm just here to be told what to do pretty much and learn as much as possible. And I started on a Type 6 engine with the state and federal cooperative, the Timber Protection Association, and then Last season, I got on a 20-man hand crew, initial attack crew, uh, with the Forest Service. Um, I've always grown up in the mountains, so that was one part of it. And then, you know, right out of high school, I didn't know what I wanted to do. So I didn't go to college. I didn't want to waste the money and time and be like a lot of people that got a degree and then they don't even use it. So, um, but after a few years, I had some friends get into fire, and that kind of piqued my interest and you know hearing their stories and their adventures and seeing them come back all dirty and yeah it's mostly the adventure and getting out and being a part of a group you know honestly i haven't seen too much action yet you know i've had two seasons prior to this but they're pretty mellow um, one that stands out the most is we were in new mexico on a fire and we were in a section where it already burned over and we're just cold trailing and mopping up and there's another 20-man crew in the area and they were walking through and I was looking over you know just observing and walking by and out of nowhere a tree had come down and took the guy out in the very back of the line and it hit him right in the back of his fire pack so he popped right up everything was fine but he didn't even see it coming and so that was just Kind of like a oh wow moment, you know, just a reminder to always be looking around and because they had literally just walked by that tree and got the last guy in the back, so. Mm -hmm.